A Mexican grandmother's blood sample just shattered 500 years of lies about human history. The Spanish didn't just conquer Mexico, they conquered a secret continent of genetic superpowers so advanced that modern scientists are calling them evolutionary miracles. Right now, walking the streets of Mexico City are people whose DNA contains genetic abilities that let them survive at altitudes that would kill you, whose ancestors could go months without food, whose blood carries resistance to diseases that wipe out entire populations. But here's the terrifying part. These same genetic superpowers that saved millions of lives for thousands of years are now killing their descendants at record rates. By the end of this video, you will discover why a random Mexican person from the North is more genetically different from a Mexican person from the South than you are from someone in China. You will see the biological receipt of history's most brutal conquest. It's literally written in blood and hidden for 500 years. And you will understand why the biggest lie in human genetics isn't just wrong. It's covering up the most incredible survival story our species has ever written. But first, you need to know why three separate DNA labs refused to publish these results for two years. What they found was so impossible, so world-changing, that it threatened to rewrite everything we know about human evolution. It started with one simple question that no one dared ask for 500 years. The story everyone knows Spanish conquistadors conquered the Aztec Empire, married indigenous women, created mixed-race people called Mexicans. Spanish plus indigenous equals Mexican. This story is called Mestizaj, the mixing of European and indigenous blood. It's taught in classrooms worldwide, except it's almost completely wrong. This comfortable story assumes that before the Spanish arrived, Mexico was inhabited by one homogeneous indigenous population, the Aztecs and a few similar tribes all basically the same people with similar DNA. But what if Mexico wasn't just conquered by the Spanish? What if Mexico was a secret continent of genetic diversity so vast that it rivals the differences between entire continents? This discovery began with a mystery that haunted scientists for decades. If all indigenous Americans came from the same Bering Land Bridge migration, why do they look so incredibly different from each other? The answer to this question revealed something that changed everything we thought we knew about human genetics. In 2003, Dr. Moreno Estrada analyzed DNA samples from different Mexican regions. The genetic differences were enormous. Not just different, but completely, utterly different. His professors thought he was making a mistake, but Moreno Estrada was making a discovery that would revolutionize American genetics. The genetic difference between a Seri person from the northern desert and a Lacandon, Maya from the southern jungle, was equivalent to the genetic difference between a modern European and a modern Chinese person. People living in the same country were as genetically distinct as populations separated by continents and oceans. Mexico 15,000 years ago was a genetic laboratory. The Sonoran Desert in the north, one of Earth's harshest environments, Sierra Madre Mountains reaching 18,000 feet, tropical jungles so dense that populations lived within miles of each other without contact for thousands of years. Each environment created different evolutionary pressures. Desert populations developed water conservation and heat tolerance. Mountain populations developed enlarged lungs and oxygen efficiency. Jungle populations developed disease resistance and toxin processing. For 15,000 years, natural barriers acted like genetic time capsules creating dozens of distinct populations with unique evolutionary adaptations. When Spanish conquistadors arrived in 1519, they weren't encountering one indigenous people. They were encountering a hidden continent of human genetic diversity. Dozens of distinct populations, each carrying thousands of years of unique evolutionary history. But what happened next wasn't just cultural conquest. It was a genetic catastrophe so brutal that we can read its signature in, in every Mexican person's DNA today. And this signature reveals a truth about the conquest so uncomfortable that it has been hidden for 500 years. Dr. Christopher Gainu was analyzing Mexican DNA when he discovered something unprecedented in human genetics. We inherit two genetic signatures from our parents. Y chromosome DNA from father's traces, paternal lineage. Mitochondrial DNA from mother's traces, maternal lineage. In most populations, these markers match. If a population is 60% European, both paternal and maternal markers are around 60% European. But in Mexico, Gainu found something extraordinary. 
Y chromosome DNA was 60 to 75% European. Mitochondrial DNA was 85 to 95% indigenous. This wasn't a genetic anomaly. This was a biological receipt of the conquest. This genetic pattern reveals that mixing during colonial rule wasn't romantic cultural blending. It was overwhelmingly indigenous women having children with European men. For 300 years, this pattern was so consistent that it left a permanent signature in an entire nation's DNA. The Y chromosome tells the story of European men who came as conquistadors and colonizers. The mitochondrial DNA tells the story of indigenous women who survived the conquest and raised the children who became the Mexican people. This genetic imbalance reveals colonial power dynamics written directly into the genome of 130 million people. It's the conquest's secret preserved in blood. But even this European indigenous story is incomplete. Hidden in Mexican DNA are genetic markers revealing to other forgotten migrations. And these forgotten stories are hiding in the most Mexican places imaginable. Walk into any Mexican kitchen, look at rice, mangoes, tamarinds, sesame seeds, quintessentially Mexican ingredients, right? Wrong. None are native to Mexico. They're all immigrants, telling the story of two forgotten migrations that left genetic signatures in Mexican DNA. The first, between 1519 and 1650. Spanish colonizers brought 200,000 enslaved Africans to Mexico. More than were brought to the original American colonies. In 1609, Gaspar Yunga led a rebellion, establishing the first free African territory in the Americas, in the mountains of Veracruz. Before the pilgrims reached Plymouth Rock, the town of Yunga exists today. Its residents' DNA carries the genetic signature of those, freedom fighters, African markers telling stories of rebellion and survival. The second migration is even more surprising, hidden in Mexico's most traditional foods. For 250 years, Manila galleons connected the Philippines to Mexico. These ships brought Chinese merchants, Filipino sailors, Japanese craftsmen, Asian immigrants who settled and married into Mexican communities. They brought their food, rice, mangoes, tamarinds, sesame seeds, even frying techniques before Asian contact. Indigenous cooking was boiling, roasting, and steaming. Mexico's most traditional dishes are fusion cuisine, Asian immigrants adapting their techniques to Mexican ingredients. Modern DNA studies find Asian genetic markers in Mexican populations, particularly in Manila galleon trade areas. Mexican DNA isn't Spanish plus indigenous, it's Spanish plus dozens of indigenous populations, plus African plus Asian, a genetic symphony telling one of history's most complex migration stories. But this genetic mixing didn't just create diversity, it created genetic superpowers. Adaptations so perfect they gave populations superhuman abilities. But these same superpowers now hide a tragic secret killing thousands yearly. Dr. Hunnemeyer studied indigenous Mexican DNA and discovered genetic variants that seemed impossible. Most humans struggle at high altitudes. You get headaches, dizziness, can barely walk upstairs where oxygen is thin, but her subjects were different. They carry genetic variants so efficient at processing oxygen, they could thrive at altitudes that incapacitate most people. Mexico City sits at 7,350 feet, higher than Denver. People with indigenous Mexican ancestry don't just cope. They have athletic advantages. Larger lungs, more oxygen-carrying blood, more efficient cardiovascular systems. This is why Mexican long-distance runners from high-altitude regions dominate international competitions. They're not just trained, they're genetically adapted for endurance. African genetic markers brought survival capabilities tested in challenging environments. Coastal Mexican populations with African ancestry carry variants providing natural malaria resistance. Desert populations developed water conservation and heat tolerance. Mountain populations developed high-altitude survival. Jungle populations developed disease resistance and toxin processing. For thousands of years, Mexico's extreme environments acted like a genetic laboratory, selecting for perfect survival adaptations. This is human evolution in action, our species adapting and thriving in environments that should have been impossible to inhabit. But the same genetic variants that were life-saving superpowers have become something else in the modern world. Silent killers. Mexico has the world's highest type 2 diabetes rate. It's higher than the US, Europe, or Asia. 
For decades, scientists couldn't explain why. In 2014, Dr. Maribel Torres made a connection that changed everything. She studied the same indigenous genetic variants that provided ancient survival advantages. These genetic superpowers had become genetic curses. For thousands of years, indigenous Mexican populations lived with unpredictable food, droughts, floods, crop failures, natural selection favored thrifty genes that stored energy during abundance and survived scarcity. When food was available, these variants stored maximum energy as fat. During famines, they slowed metabolism and helped bodies survive on stored energy for months. For thousands of years, these genes were lifesavers. The difference between survival and death during extended famines, then everything changed. The modern world brought processed foods, constant calories, sedentary lifestyles, genetic variants that were advantages became disadvantages. Bodies programmed to store energy efficiently and prepare for famine now lived where famine never came. Genetic signals that once saved lives by storing energy now caused obesity, insulin resistance, and diabetes. The same genetic variants that helped civilizations survive history's most challenging environments now kill their descendants in the modern world. A genetic strength became a weakness. Survival advantage became a death sentence. Every year, tens of thousands in Mexico die from diabetes complications caused by variants that once saved their ancestors' lives. This tragic paradox reveals something profound about the incredible journey written in Mexican DNA. Mexican DNA is a living library of human adaptation containing genetic memory of dozens of indigenous populations, each perfectly adapted after thousands of years of evolution. The biological signature of Spanish conquest, written in overwhelming paternal-maternal genetic imbalance. The genetic legacy of African rebellion, carrying DNA of people who fought for freedom in Veracruz Mountains. The molecular traces of Asian migration hidden in Mexico's most traditional dishes. And the tragic paradox of genetic superpowers that became curses when environments changed faster than evolution could adapt. Every Mexican person carries this incredible genetic heritage. They're living proof that human history is far more complex and remarkable than we imagined. We're just beginning to understand this. Right now, geneticists are discovering genetic variants providing cancer resistance. Medication processing enhancements, cardiovascular improvements, and nutrient processing advantages. Each discovery opens possibilities for personalized medicine, evolutionary understanding, and treating diseases that have plagued humanity for generations. Mexican DNA proves that within our blood, we carry echoes of lost worlds, forgotten journeys, and the epic story of our species' survival struggle. The Mexican DNA story isn't unique. Every population on Earth carries similar genetic libraries of human adaptation and resilience. Tibetan genetic superpowers for deadly altitudes, Inuit genetic variants for Arctic survival, West African genetic adaptations for malaria resistance, Northern European genetic variants for low sunlight vitamin D processing. Every population has a story like Mexico's. Every group carries genetic libraries telling incredible stories of human adaptation and survival. But most stories remain untold. Indigenous populations worldwide lose genetic heritage through assimilation and cultural loss. Ancient variants that took thousands of years to develop disappear from the human gene pool. Medical insights that could save millions of lives are lost because we lack funding, research, infrastructure, or political will to study these populations before it's too late. Mexican DNA is a call to action. Human genetic diversity is our species' greatest treasure, and we're losing it at unprecedented rates. This story represents years of research, thousands of DNA samples, millions in funding, but it's just the beginning. Right now, genetic secrets hidden worldwide could revolutionize medicine, explain human evolution, and solve our species' greatest challenges. But these secrets are disappearing. Ancient variants are lost forever yearly. What genetic secrets does your DNA hold? What survival stories are written in your cells? What adaptations are waiting to be discovered in your genetic history? You are part of this story. Your DNA. Your heritage. It's all part of the incredible tapestry of human survival and adaptation. Here's what I need you to do. Share this story. Spread awareness about incredible genetic diversity in human populations. Every share helps more people understand that human history is far more complex and beautiful than we imagined. Support genetic research. Through donations, supporting indigenous rights, or learning about genetics, every action matters. 
get curious about your genetic heritage. What populations do you come from? What environments did your ancestors survive? What adaptations might you carry? Mexican DNA teaches us we're all carrying genetic libraries of human resilience. We're all living proof that our species survived ice ages, conquered continents, and adapted to impossible environments. We're at a crossroads. Can preserve and study this genetic heritage, or let it disappear forever? The choice is ours. The time is now. What genetic secrets will we discover next? What incredible survival stories wait to be told? The only way to find out is to keep searching, keep questioning, and keep supporting scientists uncovering these truths. Don't let this story end here. Share it. Support genetic research. Remember you're part of the most incredible story ever told. Human survival, adaptation, and resilience. Like this video if it changed how you think about human genetics. Subscribe for more DNA secrets. Share this with someone who needs to understand their genetic heritage as part of human history's most remarkable story. The story of human DNA is just beginning. We need you to be part of it. Thanks for watching.